Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us, Division Two Men. And I'd hate to say this, one, two, three, four, five, uh, definitely four teams are done. I reckon four yep. teams will make it from here. That fifth position though is well grabs. and truly up for grabs. Yep. Packenham 75 defeated Collingwood 53. The All-Stars have fallen off the face of the earth. Yeah. Benny Gay's 26.7 rebounds for Packy. Uh, Manny Hendricks bounced back for some, from some down games. He had 23 points, 11 rebounds. He's got no one going with him though. Well, that's the thing. It's not like they've lost any players. They've still got the guys that were there, there standing there. up at there, the there. rounds one to six, one one to seven, just hasn't gone on with it. No, fallen off, and uh, they are in grave danger of missing yeah. out, Stevie. Uh, Northeast seventy six went down to Mornington one hundred and twelve. Matt Van Dykusen, who has had an excellent season, uh, yep. Matty V. Uh, he had 29 points in this one. John King, 18 and 8 for Northeast. Northeast have been competitive lately. Mornington went up there and just uh, slapped them back down the sides. Yes, yeah, swept the floor. I think uh, Adam Ballinger only played a handful of minutes and they needed 10 I points need because I think the rest of their starters scored in double figures and did the job for you know for Mornington. Mate, Ballinger was out getting a Palmer by 7.30 in this game. He called it quits and uh, Matty V did the job. Coburg 90 defeated Altona 74. Uh, Allende Sprewell, who is has been in terrific form, 12, 22 points, 12 rebounds. Joey Massaw, 16 points. Uh, Coburg get it. What's interesting about this, Coburg continue on their winning ways. Mm -hmm. If you actually have a look over the course of the season, I reckon this is only the first or second time they've won at home. Really? So they've they've wow. had a huge run away and they've been winning. They get back home, they've won a game. They've got a really good run into finals. And I think Coburg are going to be there or thereabouts. Yeah, and the interesting thing about Coburg, I think you mentioned it last week about their starting five. Keep changing, changing up it up. All the time. All of their points, or like their, their main production of points, came from the bench. I think Maluma came off the bench for 20. Yindi Sprewell came Jordan off the Harding bench. Jordan Harding had 20. It was Jordan, Jordan Harding, Harding for 20. had 20. Uh, Yindi Sprewell came off the yep. bench for 22 and 12. And they keep changing it up. Exactly. Yep. It's just going to throw a few teams. Don't know what you're going to get. Maccabi 74 defeated Oakley 60. Anthony Cribbs 11 points, 14 rebounds, two blocks for Oakley. He's been pretty good with uh, with Kingy over in Europe now. Yep. Uh, Yarav Amaram had 27 points, 14 rebounds, three steals for Maccabi. They get home by 14. Benji Tamir missed this one. Yeah, and Amarab just steps up every time Benji Tamir misses because I think he made the blue carpet, uh, Amaram, and he's put in put himself uh, a good season. Yep, he's done very well since arriving. Western Port 68 defeated Craigie Byrne 65. Chris Taylor 18 and 6 for the Steelers. Kane McNamara 19 points for Craigie Byrne. Didn't expect the Eagles to get that close to be honest with you. Um, Western Port 13 and 1 top of the ladder. Thought they'd win that by a little bit more. Craigie Byrne, despite the loss, are just hanging in there at the moment. Yeah, that's right. And you take you take away that, you go, oh, we've lost by three points to the top spot. Yes, we're just hanging on. But take that performance into next week. You'll come up against, you know, a relatively less lesser side. Go and win those games. Take that confidence and build on it. Uh, and remember, it's a top five. And Co uh, Craigie Byrne and Maccabi, who sit in equal yep. sixth at the moment, both have massive games this week. Uh, ladder first. Uh, we just went through that, did we? Oh, no, we would go through that now. Come Western on, Port 13 and 1, Mornington and Pakenham 10 and 4, Coburg 9 and 5, Collingwood 7 and 7. That's the top five. Then you've got the Craigie Burn, Maccabi 6 and 8, Altona 4 and 10, Oakley 3, 11, North East 2 and 12. Round 15, Collingwood, Altona. Collingwood uh, has to win. They have to win if they want to play finals. It's on you, All Stars. If you don't get up this week, you don't deserve to play finals. It's as simple as that. It is, and you just look at the form, you, you'd have to take Altona. I'm, st form. I'm sticking with Manny and the boys. Uh, Manny, get your team up, mate. I, I know you are an infectious player. You'll get them up and going, get some confidence into them. You know, get them running hard at training. Just get them up and going. All-stars. You had a wonderful start to the season. It's yep. on the line right now. You don't win this week. It's done. I'm going Collingwood. Oakley, Northeast. Uh, I think Northeast is a big chance to get this one. Bushies, I think, will yep. be a little bit too physical. Bushies. Mornington, Western Port. Top two teams. Well, Mornington, if they put in a performance like last week, they can hit triple figures. You're going to beat anyone on their day so I think Mornington can win make no mistake 
Breakers will win this game at home. Breakers to win. Uh, very good game, and yeah. I think it's an eye to a couple of teams that might meet in about a month or so yep. from now. Fair I enough, think Mornington too. win. Craigie Byrne, Pakenham. Craigie Byrne, you want to play the finals, you've got to win. Yeah, have to win. Tough one. Tough one. Uh, they won't. Yeah. Packenham will win, Steve. You've got to go to Packenham, yeah. Packenham will win that game. And maybe, depending on what Collingwood do, maybe that ends Craigie Byrne's season. Coburg, Maccabi. Coburg. Coburg at home for yep. me as well. I uh, wonder if Benji will be back. He may make a bit of a difference there, but I think Coburg will be too strong. There you go. Division 2 men, round 15 coming up. Get out there and support your teams. We'll see you next week on Big V TV. Thank you.